This is Questions with Preston. I am Preston Smiles Davis. If you didn't know, this is Judah Isveron, um, aka the Guru, BKA the Life. That is. Mm. Uh, <laughs> if you guys don't, I am, but the, I am. exactly. Judah is, um, you know, I would say world renowned. He's a spiritual guide, teacher. What would you call yourself? Let's start with that. Teacher, guide, mentor. Mentor. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have clients and people call and come to you and sit down with for you. counseling. For counseling. Okay, got yeah. it. So here's the deal. Let's just call you Z. Said, um, do you have any advice for death slash tragedy? I know people say let go, let God, but sometimes that can be difficult advice to follow. I What's don't your... believe in death. I, I believe that the body, the body dies, mm -hmm. the spirit is infinite. The, the spirit lives on, the, the spirit travels on, your consciousness, it travels with you. I believe their, their life is eternal. Mm. You know, we, we live many lives, just as you say, you know, even in your experience of being here on the planet, that you have a former self. What mm -hmm. happened to that self? That self, it, it, it died, you transformed. You were reborn out of that former self, correct? So are you saying you are not sad when people die? When they change forms? I, I'm not sad when someone changes form. I may be sad because of a memory. You know, I, I, they're no longer here physically, but I know that they're here spiritually. Mm. Okay, so you told me something a long time ago. It was probably two years ago. Um, about memories and what happens when you're born and etc. What, what is that? Explain that to my viewers, my people. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, I'm trying to remember this correctly. So I, I think it, it, we were speaking about like the process of being born into this life. Yeah. And, and in, in my understanding, and, and I say in my understanding of how we come in here, I, I believe we come in memory, with memories of many past lives, all the lives that we've lived before. Mm. And as we're coming through the birth canal, there's this amazing thing that happens. Everything that you traveled with, that you came with from lives before, <laughs> kind of spits out into the world. It flows all over different aspects of your life and that your journey becomes about pulling that puzzle back together. You know, it, it's, it's when you discover things about life, for some reason, when you're in that process of discovery, it never feels like it's something like you're just learning for the first time. It's almost like you're not, you're not learning, you're remembering. Mm. You know, I believe the process of life is remembering who you are, remembering everything you brought into this life and, you know, what you came into this life to remember, to, 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 uh, you know, the, the unfoldment of the soul and the lessons it needs to remember who it truly is. Wow. Okay. Okay. So with that said, uh -huh. how do you deal with all the women throwing themselves at you I cannot deal with on this Facebook? Right oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to walk no, no, off no, camera no, right no. now. Yeah. No, no. Come yeah. back. Come back. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. All right. I'm going to skip that question. I'm going to skip uh -huh. that question. Um, interesting. I mean... I know, yeah, like, do you see that? See what? <laughs> that's an amazing sunset, first that's of all. That's a beautiful sunset. Uh, yeah, we are but here. But does the sun truly set? See? Mm -hmm. This is what I deal with on a daily basis. I can say, my name is Preston. He's like, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Is your name actually Preston? Mm -hmm. Or are you a part of the nothingness that is the everything that is the nothingness? But we speak about, like, e even something like that, we look and we say the sun sets and we say the sun rises, but does the sun set or does the sun rise or just is the sun always sunning? And we have this conception that because the earth is spinning on its axis that it's rising as well, the sun is just, it's there. Mm. Okay. But we've been taught to believe that the sun rises and the sun sets. Okay, let me tell you, let me ask you this. So, in the last video, I asked Josh, did he believe in God, and Josh said no. Mm -hmm. What's, what is God? Do you believe in God? What is that to you? It, you know, like, the, the word God in a lot of ways, 
has become convoluted in some ways. And for me, I like to uh, do a little word interchange for me. For me, God is love. Mm. You know, that's the, in, instead of using the word God, I say love. Mm. I am love. All are love. Mm. You know, we, 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 we are, I, I do, I, I don't believe in God. Mm. Is the first thing that I, I would tell everyone. Okay. Believing in God mm -hmm. and knowing God through experience, those are two different conversations. So to believe something, you, you know, it, it's something you're putting outside of yourself. It's something that's absent of direct experience. For me, believing in something and knowing something, I know God through experience. Hmm. I know myself as God. You know, just as ocean, wave, I am an extension of that ocean, that wave. I, I am how God expresses itself as me, through me. Hmm. It's not a separate thing. It's not this guy in the sky. You know, it's just not but you my do believe you do believe Jesus lived? Yeah. I believe in Jesus as a, as a master teacher. I believe in Jesus as a way shower. You know, I don't believe in Jesus as a uh, superhero figure, how most people hold, oh, it's Jesus Christ. And for me, if, if we truly understand the message of Jesus, Jesus was teaching people, I and the Father are one, greater things shall ye do. What I do, you shall do, and do greater.